morning, morning prospectors. prospectors. I'm Riley Spitzer. And I'm Cece Acosta. And this is The Nugget, where you mine it, we, and we pan, pan it. it. Congratulations to AJHS wrestlers Faith Marquez and Shauna Harper. Marquez, in her first year on the mat, placed third at the sectional tournament, while Harper placed second at the same tournament. This means both 12th graders will move on to state competition on Friday, February 16th in Phoenix. The AJHS NJRTC squad recently participated in the area manager inspection. Naval Science Instructor Senior Chief Derek Gilbert said this event is perhaps the most important of the year and his future sailors and marines worked all year to prepare for this event. Following the AMI, the week was capped off with the military ball at the Elks Lodge here in AJ. Unfortunately, Master Guns did not hit the dance floor to perform the gritty. Reserve your yearbook now so you are guaranteed to get a copy when they arrive in May. Books are $67 and will sell out. Take advantage of the pay over time feature and pay for your book in three monthly installments of less than $23. Order online at yearbookforever.com or see Mr. Davis with questions. The eSports Club is looking to recruit new players to form teams for League of Legends, Rocket League, and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. We practice Tuesday through Thursday from 2.30 to 4 p.m. and have games all three days from 4 to 5 p.m. If interested in bringing this season a win, please contact Miss Rowe through email or at her room. We'd love to see you practice. Valentine's Day is just a week away, and do you know you haven't gotten your Valentine a gift yet? Don't lie, you've procrastinated, and now you have no idea what to get. Well, here at The Nugget, we care about your relationships, and we recently conducted a poll asking students and staff not only what they typically receive for Valentine's Day, but also what gifts they usually give. Well, so much for that New Year's resolution that you made it a month and a half ago. <laughs> the majority of you selected candy as the gift you not only give the most on Valentine's Day, but also the gift you would most like to receive. In second place for both giving and receiving are flowers. Third place is a tie between gift cards and other. When asked to pick other gifts not listed, many people offered up some very cool gift ideas, including homemade gifts and desserts, stuffed animals, coupons for foot and back rubs, comfy pajamas or hoodies, and even offers to clean the entire house. He's not only new to the school this year, but he's new to teaching altogether. But <laughs> don't let that fool you. English teacher Ben Goldstein has a wealth of real life experiences that he has brought to HHS. And it's fitting that his favorite food is seafood fettuccine Alfredo. Seeing as how today is National Fettuccine Alfredo Day, Meadow Hodge has more. Mr. Benjamin Goldstein has always liked working with young people and actually got his start as a coach while he was coaching others around him. His players, fellow coaches, and even his parents recommended he take his talent and heart into the classroom. Coaching football for a little bit while I was in college and uh, they told me that uh, some people I was coaching with who were teachers were like, I'd be a good teacher. So I thought about it for a little bit. And so yeah, here I am. Goldstein, who this year teaches 10th grade English here at AJHS, took over the position halfway through the school year and is already favorited amongst students and his fellow English teachers. But what about when he was in high school? What kind of student was he? Relatively uh, an average student. I was not the best student, but English, you know, I excelled in and I enjoyed. And uh, looking back at it, I wish I had worked a little harder. It was an effort thing. And I think that's a big thing with a lot of us is just effort. Um, so effort is big. Appreciate people putting effort. Goldstein received his bachelor's in news editorial from Washington University and is now working on his master's in education from Western Governance University. In his free time, he is a self described sports nut, whether that be playing or watching sports. But since taking over the English position here at AJHS, he says most of his time is devoted to the classroom. Uh, sports, that's mostly what I do. Um, I read a lot, a lot of different stuff. Um, but now it's just most of the teaching stuff. So it's just taking up most of my schedule, but I watch a lot of sports and play a lot of sports. So, so far, Goldstein has experienced the normal ups and downs of being a teacher, along with the expected rewards and challenges of the position. We're getting to know that people are understanding what's going on and they're grasping the concepts and the, you know, they're realizing, hey, I can figure this out. That's nice to see. The challenging part is when they don't put on the effort. 
do that. Mr. Goldstein Classroom was one of the courses in the Humanities Building. He welcomes any student who wants to come and chat outside of class time and meet and conversate about sports, especially if it has anything to do with the Seattle Seahawks. If you have not filled out your free application for federal student aid or the FASFA, head over to Central Arizona College on Monday, February 12th from 5 to 7 p.m. Our own counselors, Mrs. Harrell and Mrs. Seymour will be there to help you every step of the way. Don't miss out as filling out this forum could be your ticket to college. There will be a Stuco blood drive on Tuesday, February 13th during the school day from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. If you are 16 and older, Please come out and help save lives. And that's all for today. Have a great day. The, the Prospector, Prospector Way. way.